Belize bids farewell to another cultural icon following a night of tribute to the musical brilliance that was Leela Vernon. Famous for a slew of Brockdown numbers, including one that perhaps all Belizeans, young and old, are familiar with, her impact on the Creole culture is immeasurable. That song, Awano Huse Creole No Got No Culture, was released in 2001 and quickly became the most recognizable piece of music in her catalog. <laughs> She was moved to do something about the need of the Creole people and to find a way to immortalize their songs, culture, food, and a way of life. And I'm telling you, after what Nietzsche did last night, I think everybody get the sense. I mean, that was like some, if you missed that party last night, you missed the party of a lifetime. Thank you, Nietzsche. She was the co-founder co of the first Creole Council of Belize at her home at number six Front Street in Punta Gorda Town, or like a lot of people say, at number six Lila Vernon Street. A native of Punta Gorda, Lila Vernon's call to preserve and promote the rich heritage of the Creole people spread beyond the Toledo district, becoming a nationalistic movement unto itself. Van Griega era representative Frank Papamena shares his recollection of the Queen of Brockdown. Through her musical genius, she inspired us to embrace our roots and to live authentically. Leela projected an idea that was burning in her soul. It was the idea that Belize Creole man and Creole woman were inheritors of an African and European cultural heritage. She spoke with conviction and confidence that the Creole are also an indigenous group of Belize. She was cognizant of the fact that Creole culture emerged in Belize as a result of both the dreadful experience of African enslavement by Europeans and by the intermingling and socialization that resulted. Brockdown, a genre of Belizean music, has given rise to a number of homegrown talents, including Mr. Peters and the Boom and Chime Band, Brother David and Leela Vernon, as monarch of that category of artistic work. Nobody else there upon this earth like you, Leela. Nobody else will put for their music and their culture way up top of the top like you, girl. If only others may got for you passion and love for their things will show your own true, true self, culture. No matter if you're a Creole, Mestizo, Garifuna, Maya, East Indian, or any other culture in our country, then Belize would have come together for true, and we nation would have get enough blessing. And each culture group would have got for the correct place and respect in this country. And know how you love up your culture and your music, Leela and how much you may so treasure your, mana, your Mayan mixture, but you may choose to identify with your African ancestors so that you may know say, how important this day for the Belize Creole. And we all much better say that this. You are one Belizean to the bone, top of the top, Leela. And like Mr. Peters, you are living a we heart and mind forever. I remember you forever as part of a rich, rich culture and music heritage. Dedicating a lifetime to music and activism, Leela Vernon was bestowed with the member of the most excellent order of the British Empire. 
She had performed her Boro style brokdong for Queen Elizabeth II upon her visit to PG in 1994. Our beloved national hero. I would like to thank all those who helped her during her time of need. Another angel has earned her wings. Your work here is done, Mom. Your work here is done. Rest in peace. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.